I we're gonna check out things just in general around the homestead today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today I'm just gonna check out a couple of things around the homestead. We've got a lot of things done over the past couple of months and the garden is growing. Speaking of the garden, let me show you guys what the garden looks like today. I've got tomatoes growing already. This is the earliest I've ever had tomatoes because I actually started these from seed indoors in February. So I got a, a great head start. Plus it helped when we got uh, a bunch of seed given to us. My Brussels sprouts seem to be coming out okay. It's time to start cutting the onion tops back. Oh, about 50% of the tops and let the, uh, the bulbs start getting bigger. And I think I gotta trim those back at least two or three times this season to get a good size onion bulb. In addition to my tomato row, I have the basil and hot peppers, they're growing. Carrots are coming up, as well as some beets and flowers, they're all coming in. The uh, cauliflower and broccoli are coming up. I have some uh, other plants, beets, uh, cucumbers, pickle cucumbers. I have uh, cabbage. I planted several heads of cabbage and some uh, radishes that are ready to harvest. Now my corn. Check out my corn. This is a week and a half growth. I have a little frog friend here who is eating some of the bugs which is great to have in the garden. Uh, I've got to thin out my corn. I planted uh, three to four kernels per hole, so I got to pluck um, and leave only one stalk, the best stalk in each hole, and sacrifice the others. We have uh, pumpkins that are uh, sprouted and growing in here. Also, the beans uh, have also sprouted. Potatoes are coming in really fine. My cantaloupe and watermelon uh, are thriving. They're coming in really good. And I also planted some uh, cucumbers over here and squash. In this section, I have turnips that have sprouted. They're growing great. I have carrots here. They're coming in nicely. I have a, um, a combination of different types of lettuce that have sprouted here along with some spinach and musclin. And they have all sprouted. And then I have, of course, a uh, row of radishes that I grew. This is my cherry tree. You see some cherries that are ripening really nicely here. I have five variety of cherries that are grafted onto this one uh, uh, tree. And that way the cherries, each, very, um, each kind of cherry will uh, mature and fruit at different times through the year. So. I will be harvesting pretty much throughout the year. The kinds of cherries that this tree is producing is, uh, let's see if I can find, oh here it is. This one I actually picked up at Costco and this one is from Willow Drive Nursery in Ephrata, Washington. I probably butchered that name. Anyway, it has a Bing, a Rainier, a Sweetheart, Lepins, or Benton Cherry that are all grafted onto this one stalk. Right here are my second year blueberry plants. They are growing, uh, seems to be struggling. I haven't uh, gotten any blueberries off of it yet and it doesn't appear to be any bloom. And I found these roses growing over by the pond. I retransplanted them in here inside here in the raised beds so the deer wouldn't eat them. And finally, the pepper plants are coming in really nicely. I put in all of my drip irrigation line. Uh, well, not all of it. I have several left over, but my raised beds are completely surrounded. Uh, the yard they have the drip irrigation. I pick this uh, piping up and spray nozzles free from an estate cleanup I did uh, about two years ago. 
Um, I have to keep the pond filled with, with the garden hose. I run it one day a week and it runs for about two hours a week to maintain a level, uh, a full level on the pond. In the apiary, all four of my hives are bustling. I went and popped them open the day before yesterday and did a hive inspection off camera and uh, did some adjustments of the frames and they are doing really good. I'm very pleased with this group of bees. Chicken coop's about ready to get itself cleaned out for the summer. We'll do that next week. But I've got this uh, nice box that I picked up at an estate cleanup and uh, I'll use this to harvest my vegetables so we're gonna go ahead and put it over on the porch get it dried out I cleaned it up and then uh, we'll just let uh, store it on the porch for now it has a very nice rustic appearance to it and it's kind of things I like it's uh it kind of uh, I don't know adds a little bit of farm country ambiance to the environment. We're at the bunny bungalow now and I separated some baby bunnies and put them in separate cages to give them more room and also to uh, get them away from mama. It was time to wean them. We also put some eggs in the hatcher from the incubator and they're setting out and they should be hatching in the next uh, week. Uh, and I just and, uh, put in some chicken eggs and duck eggs into the incubator today and we'll start our countdown today for those. The baby ducklings that have hatched, we moved them over to the quack shack. One of those free cages I picked up on the roadside, I went ahead and set in here, uh, up here. So they're in the quack shack, they're going to be uh, uh, protected from the wind and coolness of the night we're getting ready to go into cooler temperatures and rains so the ducklings are old enough to be set out here and not have to have a light they have plenty of water here they got their food they're going to draw uh, stay dry and warm and and have a view now i'm raising them because my ducks show no interest in raising ducklings right now they just want to lay the eggs and get on with a duck's life. This I have to fix and figure out what's going on with it. I don't think this is the right screen for the door. Uh, oh well. These deer hang out here during the heat of the day and the, they hang around the shade and stick around the, the goose pen for the most part of the day. This is a young buckling. He's going to be future jerky or roast. Look at that. Look how close I am to that guy. And he's just like right there. And of course, they were born and raised right here on the homestead. The doe like to um, have their babies right here. And there's another one right there. <laughs> What was that about? Apparently that's the choice location for the more dominant one. And there's another choice location is right there where it's sitting down now. Hi. This is the closest they've let me hang out with them. Of course, when I come up here, I really don't bother them. I just kind of walk, casually walk by and feed the animals. I fixed my fence so the chickens no longer get in my garden so I'm able to let them out and free range. If I don't get any successful hatches from any chicken eggs this year, I'm just gonna have to go down and buy some chicks down at my local feed store. I might end up just doing that just uh, to uh, get some new blood on the property. It's also time to tackle the uh, solar panels and get them tilted to their summer 
position. That will be another video. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this little uh, rounding on the homestead here. Um, I do have a announcement to make. This is an announcement to my family, my friends, my followers, my fans, and my foes. <laughs> um, we have a huge announcement to make. This announcement is so big to me, I have to sit down for this. Are you sitting down? Okay. In January, we had some major uh, events going on here at the homestead. And it culminated into what is going to take place in about two and a half weeks from today. We got an invitation to audition for a reality TV show. And with careful consideration and counsel with the family, we decided to go ahead and submit our uh, audition. So with that said, uh, we uh, filmed the show. And this is an announcement for our episode that we're in is Homestead Rescue on the Discovery Network. We are in Season 2, Episode 2. The title of our um, s episode is Honey, I Torched the Homestead. So, tune in Wednesday night, uh, June 21st at 10 p.m. on the Discovery Network. If you guys don't have Discovery Channel, I believe you can watch it the following day or thereafter on Hulu. And stay tuned. After the show airs, I will be back and I will talk a little bit more about the show and then that's it. And then we'll go on from there. So I want to thank you guys for joining me here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. You can follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Reddit. I'm getting better at saying that. <laughs> and you can also please subscribe and share my videos. That really helps us out a lot here at Pine Meadows. We'll see you guys again in another video. And stay tuned. Bye-bye.